Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the Arduino to uh, control an LED to make it flash on and flash off. So, what you need is an LED, two wires and a resistor, about 400k resistor. So the resistor goes across the breadboard like so. You put in one wire there in the same track as the resistor. Make sure it's in properly. Ah, make sure it's in properly. You then get an LED. The long end is a positive, negative end is short end is a negative. The ground. Plug it in so it goes across the two um, two bits of the breadboard, and then you can get the other wire. And plug it in on the same track there. Show you the wiring. So it's wired up like that. Test it's working. You can just plug. You can just plug five volts. I'm going to plug my five volts back into there, and plug the ground one into the ground on the Arduino, and it lights up like so and again to unplug my 5 volts and it goes out and I'm now going to plug this into pin number 13 on the Arduino so there we go it's now in pin 13 on the Arduino just show you the Arduino there and that's pin number 13 there we go just bring it down a bit so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a program called Scratch for Arduino, which is Scratch for Arduino, which is S for A, which is up here. And S for A is a program that's adapted from Scratch. It's for the um, Arduino. It looks for the board. Then when it's found the board, we can just use our control to make things happen. So I'm going to press control. I'm going to do it when the space bar is pressed. So, if you look at the motion, you'll see there's various digital inputs and outputs. I'm going to click on on, and I'm going to do digital number 13. On, press the space bar. If we go back to a webcam, and you'll see digital 13 is now on. And then I'm going to go back to my, there, to another one. This time, this way. Do an A1. When A is pressed, digital 13 will go off. So I'm going to press A and look at the webcam. It's gone off. Back to here, spacebar is on, A, and it's off. Now you can make this a bit more exciting by doing a pattern sequence. So in my control section, I can use the forever loop. I'm going to pick digital 13 to go on. Wait one second. Digital 13 is going to go off. And wait one second. So this will loop between on, waiting, off, waiting, and repeating it. There we go. So just to recap, this is working just with the pin, the wire going from one number 13, number 13, going into your breadboard, resistor, changing the lanes of the breadboard, going back to the ground, and then in your scratch for Arduino program, using 13 to control things. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.